right. Um, hi guys, it's Sunday afternoon. Um, we've had a great day. It's been a beautiful day here. And we're going to have hamburgers and homemade french fries tonight for dinner. Um, I have my potatoes here. And um, as a matter of fact, I'm even trying to think what day it is of quarantine, but I think it's like 700, lol. But um, uh, anyway, we're going to make french fries. So I like to start with a flat bottom. And then I sort of cut that off. And um, put my glasses on so I can see a little bit better. And then I just sort of start cutting these really thin. I have a really nice sharp knife here, so that helps. And you may have a french fry cutter. I used to have some, but I've torn them up because I've used them so much. Because I would say french fries are my all-time favorite food ever. And then I'm going to stack them like this. And then do thin strips. So I can do about... Those are about three slices at a time. And then I'm just going to continue doing the rest of the potatoes. And then I'm going to soak them in water to um, take out a little bit of the starch. So, um, and then we'll get on with the rest of the meal. Okay, guys, I've cut up the um, potatoes. These are white potatoes. And um, I saw some pretty thin. Um... So I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash them, get some of the starch off, and then I'm going to let them soak in water until I'm ready to fry them. So, um, and then you'll see, uh, we're also going to grill the, like I said, hamburgers, and we'll have slaw, and I'll show you all that in just a second. Okay, I want, I'd like to have um, some slaw tonight with our hamburgers. And I looked in my refrigerator, and I had this leftover. I don't know if you remember from the other night I did fish tacos. So um, I had a bag of uh, slaw mix, and I used half on our fish tacos, and I had another half left. So I'm like, well, let me just use that again today for our um, hamburgers. So I, it's not a whole bag. It's a half bag of slaw mix. So what I'm going to do is with the recipe, I'm going to basically half what it calls for and um, so it calls for a fourth cup of mayonnaise. So I'm just going to do, I don't know, a couple tablespoons or so of mayonnaise right in there. And it calls for um, a tablespoon of sugar. So I'm going to do maybe two. Right, now I'm going to do three. I like it sweet. Three teaspoons of sugar. And then it called for sour cream. Well, also the other day in my in our um, fish tacos, I had sour cream, cilantro, and lime zest. Everything that it called for is in this sour cream. So I'm just going to use this. There was no reason for it to get away, so that's going right in here into the slaw. So I didn't have to go and buy all those ingredients. It's right there. Everything it asked for. And I'm going to um, add a little, like a splash of red wine vinegar. And salt. My pepper. And it calls for a chipotle that's in adobe sauce that's, that comes like this. And here's one here. And I'm not going to use the whole thing because this is not a, a whole recipe. So I'm just going to cut it in two and only use half of this because it, it can be a little spicy. It doesn't bother me, but um, it, it does make a, it's really good in the slaw. Okay. So that's how I reuse stuff from the fish tacos the other night and i um, so just think about what's in your refrigerator sometimes when you're getting things together. You can reuse it. Okay, so um, I'm getting ready to pat out our hamburgers for tonight. Um, I have in my bowl ground chuck and ground beef. And I've already done three. And I'm, I'm not a big... My husband and I always have this conversation about seasoning. I don't usually season it for some reason. It just... I don't feel like it needs it if you've got good meat. Um, we usually try to get our hamburger meat from Five Ashes and Hey Hira. 
So um, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do though is the meat's pretty cold. Now I like it that, I want it to be that way. And I'm going to, I've got some very cold butter and I've cut it up in pretty thin slices. I'm going to put just a piece in the center. And it's cold and that way it will melt as the hamburger cooks. And I thought we were going to grill these tonight. We're out of charcoal, so I'll be cooking them inside. So that's okay. I'll show y'all how we do that as well. But I'm going to finish patting these out. As you can see, I just, I don't even know. I just sort of rounded in my hands like that. And then that um, butter is in the middle. And um, I just, I don't, I, I don't even know how to tell you how much that is. It's just one of those things you have to eye. All right, so earlier I cut up some french fries for our hamburgers tonight, and now I'm about to fry them. Cut them up pretty thin. I've got the grease hot. I've already put a few in there just to check it, and I'm gonna add these in there. Again, you don't, I think I, we talked about this um, on another video. You don't want to put too many in there because it'll cool the grease down. I got lost one. I think it'll cool the grease down. Um, it will cool the grease down, I think. So. Um, I'm going to let those cook, and then I'm going to add some more, and, um, and then we're going to start frying the hamburgers, because we're going to cut those inside down on a cast iron skillet, because um, we don't have any charcoal, so they'll be delicious. Go. Okay, I'm going to take up the first batch of fries. They look like they're ready, and then I will we'll add some more. I love fried french fries. I'm going to try to keep from eating these while I'm cooking the other stuff. And while they're hot, I'm going to sprinkle them with some salt. Just a second. So, spread them out a little bit. And salt. And then I'm going to add some more fries in here. I'm going to do it a little slowly. If you're not a fryer, I'm, I guess you could bake with french fries, but I'm telling you, there's nothing like fried french fries. So I'm going to put these um, in the oven on warm if I don't eat them before they get in there. Alright, so now I'm ready to start grilling the um, hamburgers. And I've got a cast iron skillet because we're not going to grill them outside because we don't have any charcoal. We're still frying the french fries right over here. And um, you can see that smoke. <laughs> I left my hamburgers in the refrigerator, and remember I put the butter in the middle? So it will slowly melt as these cook. And they just don't need to waste it. Actually, my family would rather prefer that I cook them inside than on the grill, but I just don't like, um, Sort of makes the mess in the kitchen. I've got one more and I'll put it on later. So that butter is in there and as it melts, it's going to just moisturize those burgers more. So. And um, I'll show you how they look when I turn them in just a second. Alright, so I'm ready to um, turn the um, burgers that are in this half iron skillet. Look at that. That's exactly how you want them to look. Okay, they have a beautiful crust. Oh, those are gorgeous. Yeah. I'm going to let these cook as I turn them for about three or four minutes. Then I'm going to put some cheese on them. Alright, these are 
looking fabulous. And I'm look, I'm about to chop them with cheese. And um, you just usually always do Swiss cheese. So do that. They sound and smelled so delicious. And I'm going to cover them again with pan so the cheese will melt. Alright, so the hamburgers are ready and uh, they look delicious. If you've never had a hamburger, put it in the cast iron skillet. You don't know what you're missing. It is a little messier than grilling them, but my gosh, the flavor is awesome. So, um, now I'm going to, one more step, I'm going to grill the, the buns, and um, I'll show you what's going on with that next. Alright, so I'm taking up the hamburgers and um, I try to remove a little bit of the grease, but I left a little bit and I'm going to saute some onions that are going to go on the hamburgers. And they're just picking up all that flavoring from the meat. It's going to be so delicious. And Grace Water is taking up the last bit of the french fries. And we will be able to eat. I'm going to toast the buns and then we'll be able to eat. Alright, so the onions have sauteed in um, where the hamburgers were cooking and they look fabulous. So I'm going to take these up and then I'm going to um, butter the buns and cook them and we'll be ready to eat. Alright, still the same pan that I used for the hamburgers, the onions. I'm going to do the buns in it now. Um, they actually don't need any butter. I'm just going to use what's in here. Lay them down flat. Like this. Turn the heat up a little bit. And um, they'll suck up that good, those goodies. And then I'll flip them just a second. Alright, so we grilled the buns. I've mayonnaised them. And now I'm going to add these lovely burgers. Oh, these look so divine. Um, I'm going to add some. Alright, so we're going to add some lettuce. Beautiful red tomatoes that we Got from the farmer's market. Those onions we sauteed in all those good drippings. They don't look so good. Um, we all like ketchup in our house, so I have ketchup. Mustard, Dijon mustard, of course. And I think that's all the toppings for the burger. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, this is a cilantro swall that remember I made earlier today that was, I was taught the all about. Some of that. And. Some fabulous homemade french fries. And here is our sunny night hamburger and french fries.